Smart Approaches to Marijuana, or Project SAM, a campaign to keep marijuana illegal and educate the public about the truth of the drug. There's a massive industry out there that sees your brain, especially if you're under 30, as a dollar sign, uh, and they want to get a hold of it as fast as they can. A couple bong hits or smoking, a, a couple of joints, you, right. right? We're not talking about that. We're talking about an industry that's mass producing these THC candy bars, that's mass producing these grape sodas loaded with THC. If a kid's taking high THC marijuana when their brain's growing rapidly, they have a high probability of losing a sliver of their long-term memory every time they use it. Cannabis use is associated with development of schizophrenia, particularly with early use of high potency cannabis. Doubles your risk of motor vehicle accidents at least. That's with basically older studies with lower potency cannabis. Thing and people say we're going to regulate it like alcohol. Well, if we do, that's going to have a negative impact on communities of color, on disenfranchised communities that are least able to support the burden of an addictive industry, of an industry that makes the majority of their money off of people that are heavy users and addicts. Legalize marijuana. Guess what that industry is going to target? That industry is going to target the most vulnerable communities and probably in your backyard because they're doing it in mine. People who are living in communities who are already being targeted by alcohol and tobacco. And now you want to open up the floodgates so Big Tobacco 2.0 marijuana companies can go in and target those industries? No way. It is a culture of addiction and I knew it was a big problem when I was traveling around the country for the White House and a kid told me, Dr. Sabet, you don't know anything. Marijuana is not addictive at all. I don't care what the journals say. And I said, all right, well, how do you know that it's not addictive? What are you basing it on? He said, I know it's not addictive because I use it every single day. We just have to hold our horses and understand there are going to be enormous consequences to us giving the green light to a whole new industry that's founded upon addiction.